Hi, Matt here from Matt Holman Golf. Just want to talk about a great ball striking drill. And really for your average guy out there, I mean, there's lots of drills that can help depending on your swing style. But if we say you're, you're shooting a little higher scores, you're struggling with thins and fats, you're struggling with swinging from the outside uh, across the ball, great drill for you, super simple drill. One of the best ones I've, I've seen I was out watching David Ledbetter teach maybe three, four years ago. And he talked about, let's get the front side of the body pulling a little more. I mean, in the end, this is sort of two hands uh, and two arms swinging with our body, obviously. What we tend to see in a lot of the best players in the game when they're struggling, they actually pull too much. They end up with maybe a little too lag. Everything gets a little, a little narrow there and they can end up with pushes and pulls. So my work with tour players, maybe we're going to actually work a little more with the right arm. So if you're that sort of five and below and struggling, feeling stuck, you know, one drill with certainly some right hand only swings, you feel that right arm expand a little more, maybe you can go ahead and hit a few balls right hand only off the peg and just clip the ball away. Let's, let's have a go with here, right hand only, but this would really be your five and below. Very, very rare to see this in a player above nine handicap. So we can go ahead, right hand only there, and just little half swings. Go ahead and clip some shots away. You know, and it's not about hitting perfect golf shots, but just to get that feeling. If you're above nine and you've got thins, fats, you know, swinging very much from outside slice, it's very likely you're pushing too much with your right arm. I'm seeing this sort of every day again. It's pretty much a guarantee you'll be pushing too much with your right arm if we've got one of those thins, fats or outside in. Best drill out there, I, I know anyway. There's a few good ones that we can talk about going forward, but one of the very good ones. Light end of the club, just holding the shaft, okay? From here, just little half swing back, not trying to complete the swing. Left arm stays comfortably straight, nice L shape. And then from there, we want a little two second pulls, 1,000, 2,000, then from here, we're gonna start the swing down the whole front side of the body, left lat, left hip, left knee, the pressure moving across a little bump. And then from there, we're really feeling that left side pulls uh, the club head through. Okay, and that's, we're gonna teach you to be a little bit more of a left side puller rather than a right side or backside pusher. And you'll be surprised, I mean, you can try this out if you've struggled with casting for years, swinging from the outside, make some drills, just left hand only as I'm doing here, little pulls, stick it on camera. I think you'll be amazed all of a sudden how your, your have shaft angle, the hands will lead the club head through the hip. We want that nice sort of sound where the ball would be. So swing up. That's what we're after. The more sound we get where the ball is, often you guys would do this. The sound's gone sort of up there and you've ended up sort of slapping the ball away. Now, why do we have that little pause? If we have that little pause, it's going to be more natural to have the little bump across, resettling of the weight. You know, you're not going to start by sort of trying to throw the arm. It's not very natural. Turn your hips in a, in a strange way. It's much more natural from here to, okay, let's recenter the weight, a little more left, zip it through. You can then hold it, grip M, but make sure you grip down. I wouldn't do too many swings like this if you're not used to it. It puts a little strain on this left arm. It's a little half swing back, zip it through. And then you can go two hands on the golf club. This side feels nice and relaxed. Nice little half swing up, zip it through. And then from there, just go ahead and hit some. Again, little half swings back and through. Great practice, feeling the front side of the body is pulling and working a little harder. Because in the end, that's where the speed in the, in the golf swing is gonna, gonna come from. Hopefully these tips help, but, you know, love to hear from you. Please comment, you know, ideas are always useful. Hopefully enjoyed the video and, and look forward to speaking to you more shortly.